Some of you may be at your lowest point in your life, depressed, alone, or struggling in a miserable job just to make ends meet, or in a relationship that's sucking you dry. I've been there and my heart goes to you. You are the main reason I've created this program because I know how hard it is to find someone who understands us, who sees you past your condition as a worthy human being with your own qualities and untapped potential waiting a little encouragement to show up, not just as a number, another lost cause to send home with a bag of pills and some half-baked coping strategies. You didn't come here to cope with life. You came here with a higher purpose and until you fulfill it, it's not gonna set you free. For those of you at this stage, I have two metaphors for the healing journey you are about to undertake. The three stages in Dante's Divina Commedia and the building of a house. In Dante's Divina Commedia, the human soul goes through three stages, Inferno, Purgatorio and Paradiso. Before we begin our healing journey, we are in Inferno, in Hell. The healing journey is our Purgatory and we reach Harmony, the Paradise, when we break free from our underworld, from our ignorance, conditioned fears and unconscious addictions. The second metaphor is the building of a house. First, you must dig as deep as you can until you find solid ground on which to lay your foundations. If you dig superficially, you risk your house to crumble at the first wind of trouble. The second stage is laying of your foundation. The third is building the house, the new you. The fourth is living in it, taking full possession and getting used to your new self. The fifth is the periodic maintenance and nurturing of your inner garden. You do this, you have a good and sound house. You miss one stage, you are in trouble. But I want you all to keep in mind that healing is not the destination. Self-knowledge is the destination. If you had this knowledge, you wouldn't need healing. Equally, if you didn't suffer, you wouldn't be motivated to take this self-discovery journey. You'd float around in a state of contentment and never evolve. This inner work is for everyone, whether you struggle with your mental health, your relationships, your work, your spiritual direction in life, to ensure that you and your children will never get to that point of needing to heal. It is self-knowledge that will prevent you from making the avoidable mistakes that could cost your marriage, your children's health and their future, and overall your quality of life. So for all of you, this self-work is akin to the hero's journey into your underworld. But before you go on this journey into your underworld, you must put your head plumb to see in the dark of your unconscious. Before you start digging, you must know where to dig. Your past is a big territory. If you try to revisit it with the same mind and eyes, the same beliefs and level of knowledge, you'll be digging forever and still not find that solid ground on which to lay your foundation because you've dug in the wrong place. If you are here to improve yourself, you still need to know what needs improving. The whole point is to help you develop your eyes, your insight, so you will never depend on specialists to fix you, to gain the skills and ability to connect your purpose and find what you stand for, where you want to go from here, and what you want to achieve by the end of this life. Because my friend, even if we act as if it didn't, this film will end. Question is, what role have you played in it? How did you live this life? What did you learn from it? What will you leave behind? All this will decide where you will go next. Back to square one, having to endure the same things, only this time harder to learn your lessons, or ready to move on to the next level from where you can choose your next experience. And to find your purpose, you need to know the basics of how you work, how the environment you're part of works, and how others work. Because we don't live alone on this planet or universe, and all our life revolves around these three relationships, with ourselves, with others, and with the unseen forces in our environment. You miss one of these trinity and you are guaranteed to run into problems. When you know how emotions and thoughts are formed, how your perception works and how you communicate subconsciously with your environment, and by the environment I mean everything visible and invisible, you can then go in with eyes wide open and see for the first time the forest from the tree. So get ready to put your headlamp on.